So the weather out here is uh, 13 degrees, but real feel is negative three. So we're gonna try, it's 925. I'm gonna do the Wim Hof method. See how long we can last out here. We're gonna shoot for five minutes. You can already hear Nala starting to uh, cry, locked her in the basement uh, to keep her out of the cold so she didn't run out here. But uh, yeah, so basically with this cold training method, um, what it is is your body, but just exposed to extreme cold for a short amount of time, and you just try not to focus on the cold. You do breathing, and it takes the cold away, and you focus on that instead of the cold, and you can train your mind to um, overcome pain, other things like that, and it's just a good meditative state, a good meditative practice. Um, one guy, Wim Hof, he took this method, and he was able to stop diseases and body he's able to keep his body from getting cold even out in like extreme weather like submerging himself under ice um, for five hours he's able to keep his body temperature the same so I'm already starting to get a little, little bit cold I'm starting to shiver so I'm not to start breathing here and then after I breathe for a little bit and get rewarmed we'll talk about um, kind of how I did my training yesterday and uh, why I jumped into it so hard Three minutes down. Out here doing some cold training. You can hear the fire amp lights coming. But basically, because we're approaching the five minutes, I'm just gonna jump into it and talk about it. So the reason that we did the training the way we did yesterday was because after coming off a of sickness like that for so long, for five days I didn't work out, didn't eat for four days. So my body was extremely reconditioned to this new system. So instead of taking two weeks to progressively work back into it, I decided to jump into it super hardcore and just explode from the start. So I did deadlift, squat, bench, did their, my favorite accessory for each, like the best power accessory. And then I did two of the best um, hypertrophy accessory with it. So I did four workouts for each, five sets for each, and whew, lots of volume. I went hard, it was a three day, or a three hour lift. Went in with no food, like, People complain about not having food and energy, guys. It all three composites to a five by five. And okay, so the amount of food you eat in an entire day, I consume less calories than that in five days and still is able to go in and pump off an extreme uh, workout like that. So not having the energy just isn't a good choice, good excuse. So I decided to explode it and do that reawaken up my body, let it know that I'm not pissing around, that I'm not going to go down, laying down, um, let it know it's about to come. So. vegetables, nuts, and I don't know. That's just how she was raised. They didn't have a lot of junk food. That's what my mom fed me, and I mean, must say, you owe a big part of it to your diet, and when you're growing up as a kid, and you ask for a snack, and your snack is a bowl of grapes, or a plate of veggies, 
that's just what you grow up eating. And then ever since that habit was instilled in me at a young age, all the way up through then, I'd go to my friends' houses and stuff and they'd all be like pounding cake and stuff for dessert after a meal. I would be sitting there getting second helpings of freaking fruit and stuff. Like, that was just always me. Always had a healthy lifestyle. If you snip it in the butt early, it's gonna help you down the road and it's gonna be a lot easier. So, thanks for watching everybody.